In this video, Low Fruits is going to help us expand on one seed keyword so we can find out the easy ranking opportunities and also help us build out the rest of this cluster for this seed keyword. So the keyword we're going to use today is under desk treadmill. Um, we're going to want to exclude Reddit and we're going to want to get the search volumes. We'll keep this off. We'll keep extract PAA queries on. We'll extract related queries and we'll keep historical data checked. That's fine. And we'll hit find keywords and see what it brings back. Low Fruits brought back 1,535 keywords. We get two options. We can just get all the keyword ideas for free, free where it's not using your credits, or we can do it all in one shot where it'll analyze 812 of these high intent keywords. I always like to just get the free so I can do my own filtering. So here we have the 1,535 keywords. Now, would, this is great because under desk treadmill, I know is a very competitive keyword, but now we can start going through these words to see if um, we could find any um, low food opportunities here. So what I'd like to do first is just look at the topics and take away any of the, the items I don't want in here. So just for the sake of this, let's get rid of uh, Amazon. Let's get rid of any, we can get rid of brands at this point, but we looks like we have a lot of brands. So we might want to see what that looks like. Um, so right now it took away a, probably about a hundred or so keywords here. So that's option one, basically to filter the way you want to see it. So maybe let's put Amazon back on and maybe we just want to talk about, um, folding. So let's, uh, click, I believe I click, click it twice or no, click it once on the actual word. Now it's narrowed it down to 67 key uh, keywords that have the word folding in it. And then maybe we go down this route or maybe we just want to look at something that is talks about that has a remote and that broke it down to 16 keywords. Some people are worried about if it's quiet or loud. So here's uh, eight words that have, or eight terms that have the word quiet in it. Some people are worried about the capacity, the weight capacity. 250 pounds, 500 pounds, et cetera. So that's 13 keywords. So you're, you get your one seed keyword. Your first option is to start filtering below by terms. You can add, you can show terms or hide terms. The second way to do this is look at the intent. This is based on what low fruit say the intent is. So let's look at what high intent gives us. It reduced the keywords to about half. So we have some best, most durable. Um, we have some worth it terms, um, recommended, tips, best, compare. So yes, these are high intent keywords. Let's see what their pre-purchase gives us. 228 keywords. So these, it looks like these are a lot of the best. Uh, and then reviews. So the, these are great. And maybe let's we'll see what post purchase gives us. So the warranty, warranty, user manual, user manual. This is really good. In comparison, so I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a lot of verses. So we have compare versus difference or. So this is great. The intent section can basically build out your whole funnel here for you. Uh, let's see what status gives us. So these are, um, you, if you have them analyzed, you can analyze here or, or um, any words you have imported. You can include any of the words, you can exclude words, or you can filter by number of words. So let's go ahead and start picking. So, so the way I would approach this is that under desk treadmill, if I have a new site under desk treadmill, uh, this term itself is going to be super hard to rank for. So let's start looking by questions here. So let's go into questions and see what this gives us. So 
um, it narrowed it down to 67 keywords. So let's go ahead and look at all these keywords and analyze them. So I'm going to do click on bulk selection. I'm going to go all pages. So what this is going to do is going to um, analyze the SERPs for these 67 keywords. And then while it's analyzing each keyword, it's going to also look at what the people also asked bring back and also I believe the related keywords and it's going to add on to this. So we're going to see this 67 number jump up. So let me hit SERP extract. So the 67 keywords turned into 262 keywords. Now this, remember we just started from this one seed keyword. Now we're going down this rabbit hole here. Low fruits automatically um, sorts these by weak spots here. And the first one here is how to use Apple Watch with a treadmill desk. The blue are going to be the user generated content, content, as you can see, so the forms or the web 2.0s. And that's why you see Apple's uh, discussion.apple form. Number one, another discussion Apple, you have a Reddit and Stack Exchange. So this would be a, a good one to go after here. Whoops. Let me uh, close out. And then next, what do we have? How loud are under desk treadmills? Let's see what's here. A Reddit. We have a DA of 8, a DA of 12, and a DA of 13. So the green is um, set default to be any DAs under 20. You can, you can change that yourself to be, uh, say, DA under 10, DA under 50, whatever you want it to be. So what you, do, what you can do also is you can view the SERP. If you click this here, um, you can you can see what the SERP looks like, and then it also will calculate the words if it can, um, which is kind of helpful here. So um, as you can see, we have a Reddit, we have a YouTube, and then we have three uh, DAs that are under 20 for this query. If you want to get out, you just click that again. So these are the these are going to be the, the the keywords that don't have um, anything by them. It's probably be better for me to show you are the the 67 that we that we showed. So or yeah. So let's go back here. So we're the first two pages, I believe there's 50 per page. So the page one was 50, page two and beyond was, uh, you know, the other seven, 17 keywords that we have. And then as you can see, all these grayed out keywords, um, these are going to be, they're analyzed. So there are no weak spots found. So they analyze all these keywords and find any weak spots. But then the, the keywords that have PAA, or related next to them. These are the additional keywords that low fruits found while pulling the original 67. So what I can do here is I can say, okay, well, let's look at, let's just turn on, um, PAA. So all the PAA are here. That's 128 keywords. And we can, or, or the other way we can do it. I forgot about this way. We can say status and we can look at the not analyzed keywords. So we have 195 keywords that were not analyzed. So let's go ahead and rerun this with these keywords because these are all, these will probably be all great as well. So you go bulk selection, all pages, 195 keywords. We're going to extract the SERP here and let it do its thing. Now it took those keywords that we just analyzed and it found even more. So as you can see, this is the rabbit hole we're going right now. I still have the filter of uh, not analyzed on. So there's I found another 426. So I can keep going. I can click on bulk selection. I can do all pages. So let's do the, um, the 426 and let's do it one more time. Let's see what we get. So now it took the 426 keywords and came up with another. So it, it analyzed those and then found another 1200 keywords on top of this. But this is what's good to see here is that now we're getting a little bit off to topic. Um, we're talking about warranties, um, extending warranties, purchase of laptop, TV, car. So I'm glad I showed you guys this because um, there is a limit where you kind of want to stop here. So let's... Um, Un untoggle this. I only want to see the analyze. So, so far, 
um, I have this one main keyword and I analyzed 688 keywords. So I flip that on and let's see what they give us. So how do I get treadmill steps on, on Apple Watch? So this is good because this is a little bit different query than Apple Watch, the, the first Apple Watch um, query that I have. So let's take a look. These are all uh, discussion forms on Apple. And then here's a DA or another um, user, it looks like a form. And then here's a seniorfitness.org DA of 19. So now let's take a look at um, topics and see what this gives us. So here's all the topics we have. Oh, we're still in the question. Sorry, let me go back into all. So now we have 4,559 keywords to look at. And let's go ahead and look at status and let's look at what's analyzed. So out of the 4,559, we've analyzed 688. So let's go ahead and flip that back on. And just what I like to do at this point is just eyeball of what we got here. So what we have here is we have Apple Watch counting steps, basically. Okay, Fitbit. Uh, can you wear Apple Watch inside wrist? That might not be related. Why doesn't my Apple Watch count steps on treadmill? That can be for any treadmill. Um, let's see. Apple Watch, Apple Watch. Can I wear Apple Watch in my bra? Uh, can my downstairs neighbors hear me walking on a treadmill? Like this is a good one here. Um, there's a soundproof advice form. And so maybe we're, we don't want to see Apple Watch in here. Um, or let's take a look here if I can find it. Hey, Apple. Okay, so let's take these keywords and let's see what the cluster does to them. So we have 688 keywords. I can't, I don't want to sit here and go page by page, right? This is not a good use of my time. So let's go ahead and try to get these clustered into these a more logical um, setup. So what we do here is we go into clusters and then you just hit this clustering button and it's going to um, take all the keywords, the, the, the keywords that we analyzed and group them together based on the SERPs, which is great. So we have out of all the, the keywords we analyzed, the, I think it was 600 and something, uh, we found 88, 88 uh, clusters. So now this makes this list more manageable. Let me get the real, the real number here for you guys. So uh, status, analyze. So out of 688, we got 88 clusters. So in this cluster alone, are under desk treadmills worth it? There's 92 keywords. So let's open this up. And here we go. All of these words would be on one page because they have similar SERP results when you Google them. So, so the main um, keyword they're saying is, are under desk treadmills worth it? And you can also sort, sort this by volume. And as you can see, this is the main keyword. And then these are all of the, uh, the related keywords or the keywords that would fit in this cluster. And so what I would do here is I would write a page with this H1 uh, with a title and this in the URL. And then I would uh, include all of these 92 keywords but what I would probably do if I had a new site is I would find these uh, these ones with these weak spots and make sure these are at least H2s or H3s just because um, Google will put more weight on these. So can you lose weight with the under desk treadmill without, or maybe that's a um, autocomplete. What are the pros and cons? Does walking, does a walking treadmill desk help? How fast do under desk treadmills go? What are the benefits of sitting of, of sitting treadmill? <laughs> Never heard of a sitting treadmill. Okay, let's look at one more cluster. Can you put a treadmill on carpet? So can you put a treadmill on carpet is the main keyword. And there's 34 keywords in this cluster. And this might be a better one because can use it because it has um, looks like more weak spots if you're a new site. 
Uh, can you use walking pad on carpet? How to stabilize treadmill on carpet DIY? So these are some keywords, some keywords I never would have thought of. And let's go back into clusters. Will treadmill desk help lose weight? Do under desk exercise machines work? Does Apple Watch count steps? Can you use WD-40 to lubricate a treadmill? Here's some low fruits here. All these, these are really good. So to recap, um, this is what we did. We went into Keyword Finder. We put in our seed keyword. This is the sniper approach. And then with the seed keyword, um, we, Anna, we went to questions, right? Because we know this is a, a difficult one and we know the question queries are more long tail and um, you have a better chance to rank. And there were 67 questions. And from those 67 questions, we analyzed the SERP and, or we analyzed each 67 keywords. And then from those, they gave us the people also ask and the related. And then we then we analyzed those and then we analyzed one more time. So I think we analyzed a total of three times here. And we have all these keywords. Um, we have, let me go here. We have... Now we have 688 keywords that um, we, can, we can start working from or we can keep diving down even further.